Evelyn PM. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle. It's David's car. And we're in Hi. David's car. Yes. In Littleton, New Hampshire. We like to come up here every once in a while and just hang out. We had some good food. We had pizza and it was really good. Mm -hmm. I yeah. bought some rocks. You, you did. You, you rocked. And now we're at Lowe's. And I'm going to take you inside and we're going to see what they have. And then we're going to hop on over to the Home Depot. Right next door. Right next and door. And see what they have. So yes. let's go to Lowe's. Okay. Okay, fam, voiceover Jackie is coming at you. We are again at the Lowe's in Littleton, New Hampshire, in case you missed it. And of course, I made a beeline straight for these Live Trends self-watering planters with the philodendron gloriosum, this really nice looking philodendron, not philodendron, already off to a bad start, anthurium. This is an anthurium. Don't really know what type of anthurium, but it's cute. And I like the planters that they're in, so I'm not mad about it. There's some philodendron, summer glory, some aglionema, different ferns, and such. Definitely some things that don't need to be in self watering pots. This is the anthurium superbum, superbum, however you want to put the emphasis on it. <laughs> And we have a lot of the usual stuff over here, but these look like new planters, at least new to me. And I think this is a zebra plant, but please do correct me if I'm wrong. The tag says Aphalandra. 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 I don't know. Um, I genuinely couldn't tell you, but I really like this pot. This is like definitely my color scheme right here. So super cute. We'll be looking for these on the clearance rack for sure some different ferns in some of them there are just some really cute pots honestly like some of these new planters from live trends are super super cute and i feel like costa farms really needs to start taking some notes and coming out with some cuter planters because theirs are atrocious and these are super stinking cute. If anything, I want to buy them sometimes just for the pots. And look, I'm totally just ignoring that philodendron because I was looking at the cute pot. All right, so they also have some Hoya Kamingiana over here. They have these on a trellis. I disagree with having these on a trellis. You guys have heard me complain about it before, so I will spare you. <laughs> and then over here we had... Some of the self-watering planters from Costa Farms with all of the alocasia silver dragon in them. Of course, my eye was drawn to this one here that has a little bit of sport variegation. It's pretty cute, but of course, I need to thoroughly check all of the leaves and the whole plant to make sure that this is something that's even going to continue. And to be honest with you, it doesn't look like it. It's not on every leaf. It is just a little tiny splotch. So I don't really have a lot of confidence in it continuing on. So I am not going to snag it, but it is definitely sport variegation. It is not damage to the leaf or anything like that. So I mean, hopefully somebody snagged it. And if not, then that's pretty depressing. <laughs> but anyway, there are some both those up here again in some really cute hanging pots from Live Trends for $26.98. There's the Marble Queen Pothos in this one, some Monstera Adansonii in that one. And then over here we had some Silver Band Maranta. I'm definitely not mad about seeing these still popping up in the big box stores. I think they're really, really pretty. Some more of the same stuff in here. Some Pothos Enjoy Neon Pothos. There's the Geogenanthus in there that I skipped over. And then around here we have all of the 
little like propagation things and air plant holders from live trends these cute little hanging baskets with the feet i love anything that has like a face and little feet on it i'm such a sucker for stuff like that i'm not gonna lie and then there's some more of the self-watering containers down here with some syngonium some ficus a larger anthurium super bum the alocasia culata culata they still have some of these cute summer berry collection tons and tons of african violets on the floor here they look like they just came in and then i was like wait a minute this does not look like a neon pothos this looks like the neon queen that i just recently picked up from the knotted finds down in merrimack new hampshire if you guys are in the area you should definitely go and check them out so they're calling it fernando's fire i just had to confirm that it was actually a different cultivar and that my eyes were not deceiving me but i think that the variegation on here is really really pretty they call it the neon queen because it looks very similar to the marble variegation of the marble queen except it is more neon in nature this is the regular golden pothos so you can see how much more green this one is compared to the neon queen so this one has more dark green with yellow variegation and that one's definitely more of like a neon it feels more of like a neon base with like a dark green variegation but you know don't quote me i genuinely don't know so really really cute though i am not mad about seeing these i had to just like go back and highlight some of these absolutely stunning leaves look at this i snagged one like i said from the knotted finds and i actually plan on getting it growing up a pole and hopefully we can get her nice and big and fenestrated because epipremnum will do that the same way that monstera will so definitely do not sleep on epipremnum even though they're commonly called pothos they are epipremnum like this one here this is an amplissimum and they will fenestrate the amplissimum i don't know if it does as it matures but the orium does and that is the common one that we call pothos in case you're newer to plants and you just didn't know now you know this is also an epipremnum the cebu blue that one will fenestrate and then they had some lemon lime maranta heart leaf philodendron i see some dogtail cactus hanging back there some peperomia rabbit foot fern right here these are all 20.98 these hanging baskets from costa farms the smaller ones in front here are 16.98 there's some tritiscantia in them a little bit of creeping fig and then the assorted foliage you guys from costa farms there's nothing really all that new that i've seen pop up mixed in the assorted foliage lately so we kind of just gloss over those and uh some bird of paradise some really big beautiful bird of paradise that i will definitely be like checking more thoroughly for sport variegation i don't really see anything standing out to me but i always check gotta check double check triple check you never know do you know how many times i have missed sport variegation and didn't notice it until i was editing back it's happened twice now and it's devastating especially when you're traveling and you can't go back but anyway here's the clearance rack um they have these cute little bug air plant holders and i was actually kind of really tempted to snag one the air plant was dead don't come at me for pulling it out of there it's dead already it's on the clearance rack but um ultimately i decided that i didn't necessarily need it even though it is really stinking cute i might regret it later but that's fine everything is fine so they actually had some pretty decent stuff here on the clearance rack it was packed pretty full so if you are in the area again we're in littleton new hampshire pretty far north if you're around definitely come and at least check out the clearance rack but otherwise that is it for lowe's 
It's a crazy hair day. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that was Lowe's. It was very nice and neat and organized. There was a lovely, lovely woman in there watering everything, and we were chatting about plants. So... Did she work there? Yes. <laughs> I was just like, I'm so glad somebody's taking care of these plants because usually, no, no, no. The, the usually I here, do she's it. She's been here for years. She's like really No, she doesn't things. work in the plant section. Oh, she, she was just tired of watching them um, be dry. So. That's funny. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they had some cute stuff. They had some of the new Gloriosums and whatnot. They did have a little cheeky little sport variegated alocasia, but it wasn't variegated enough. So there really was no need for me to snag it. And I was really happy to see the big hanging baskets of the new Pothos Neon Queen. They're calling it Fernando's Fire. <laughs> I don't know, Casa Farmers <laughs> makes shit up. But um, big, beautiful hanging baskets. And it's hard, it's kind of hard to tell the difference between them until you see them side by side. So I hope that seeing the Golden Pothos and the new cultivar side by side helped you understand the differences between them. So let's head over to Home Depot. Let's all go to, oh, Home Depot. Right, we're at Lowe's. Yeah. All right, never mind. <laughs> let's go see what they have. <laughs> All right, fam, so here we are at the Home Depot, and I'm outside, and the first thing that I'm seeing are Hoya, and I'm so excited because I have not seen these before. This is the Hoya Fitchii, and I just love it. I think it's so super cute. They have some really beautiful Carnosa Crimson Princess over here in the sun as well, but I'm just like, whoa, girl, never have I seen Fitchii in the big box store. I don't know why they're calling it Teacup teacup anemone i'm not exactly sure but it is hoya fitchii i'll put it on the screen for you so you know how to spell it properly if you have snagged one of these and you can actually properly label it and this one is hoya rosita I'll put that on the screen for you as well not a drift they're just i don't like when they do this it makes it really confusing for collectors and then Hoya Wayetii. This is the inner variegated one. They probably have it as tricolor, but I didn't even bother looking at the tag because it would probably just piss me off when it's mislabeled again. So look at how cute these are, you guys. And they're only like um, just under $6, I think, $5.98. <gasps> so cute. And then inside we have some larger Hoya Crimson Queen some pubic calyx here these ones are twenty dollars some euphorbia a couple of snake snake plant <sighs> i'm fine snake plants they are snake plants i was trying to say whale fin it's fine everything is fine <laughs> they've got some syngoniums and such over here lots of pothos from proven winners nothing out of the ordinary that we haven't seen from them before Lots of Global Green and Lizard Queen over here. We've got some Monstera Peru, Baltic Blue. I'm not intentionally trying to rhyme, I promise. There's some Xanthosoma and these really beautiful Standeliana Albos. And as much as I don't like growing this plant, I can acknowledge that it is a really beautiful plant. And if you like Monstera, I definitely recommend it. It's it's hardy. It's definitely an easy plant to grow. It's not like a difficult plant in the sense of it being finicky in any way, shape, or form. It just grows really stupid. And it'll throw out runners like left and right if you don't have it perfectly on a pole. So I just don't have the patience for plants like that. And that is why I don't like them. But that does not mean that you shouldn't get it if you like it. So just keep that in mind. Just because somebody else doesn't like something doesn't mean that you can't like it. And just because you don't like something doesn't mean that somebody else can't like it. So, um, anywho, some philodendron, Florida green, a lot of the same stuff. Honestly, you guys, they didn't really have anything new in stock. So I'm kind of just <laughs> rambling. They did have some of the newer pothos hiding down here, though, looking really nice. I just, I love it. I think it looks so good as a hanging basket as well. I just don't have an interest in really growing pothos out right now as hanging baskets. So I'm pretty excited to try and get her 
going up a poll. I'll definitely do it in a video with you guys if that's something that you want to see. I know a lot of you really enjoyed my last live stream where we did some repotting together. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to do more live plant chores and we can definitely make it a regular thing. So some more assorted foliage over here. This pearls and jade is really cute. Some really vibrant croton that I don't particularly like, but I can acknowledge that it's really vibrantly colored, <laughs> which is why I don't like it. Lots of ZZs, all of the fiddle leaf figs here, some Monstera Deliciosa, some weird, I think that's a Madagascar palm, all the Euphorbia. I love how weird these Euphorbia are. Some variegated agave looking really cute. All the little cute little succulents. And of course the stupid cacti with the flowers. Who doesn't love glued on flowers? <laughs> Me, I don't love it. <laughs> There's sad little alocasia hiding back here. Some peperomia and this cute little philodendron. I think it might be a prince of orange all of the ferns some pretty cool cacti down here these are really great prices if you are a cacti person these big ones you can get some really good deals in the big box stores on cacti and succulents for sure they'll charge an arm and a leg at nurseries and garden centers for like really big cacti because they take like a century to get to that size they grow so slow so all of the floor plants over here i think that's like a colocasia of some sort and then uh, she's just so pretty the neon queen again or fernando's fire as they're calling it and um i don't know you guys i think that's pretty much it for everything that they've got going on here at the home depot okay so that was home depot um they didn't really have anything exciting inside but the outside area over here had all those hoya you guys i know some people have been finding like all the different hoya from proven winners but i haven't seen a lot of them myself so i'm not gonna lie it was a little bit tempting to uh snag some of that hoya fitchii but i had one and i think i sold it so like do i like do i really need to buy another one do you know it's just because they were six dollars it's Plus, just like you just got rocks yeah i did just buy rocks but that was everything that they have in stock here at the home depot and the lowe's in littleton new hampshire i hope that you guys enjoyed taking this little trip with us if you did you should give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me leave us emojis pizza oh yeah we did yeah, have pizza it was pizza. good pizza yeah, was leave us pizza emojis yes. if you watched this whole entire video and i love you guys i hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world don't forget to spread kindness drink don't your water to drink water it's hot yeah you better drink your water yeah put on your spf too don't forget yeah don't forget and um you don't even put any on <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> and um i love you and i'll see you guys in the next one bye, bye.